Now, so far I've been showing you how to authorize based on username. And it turns out that practically speaking, it doesn't work very well, it doesn't scale very well, because if you've got hundreds of users, it's kind of hard just to um, say for every page, you know, which of those hundred users are going to have access to every page. It's much more efficient to group users into roles or groups and then have a, an administrator figure out which users are in which group. So here we have some doctors, we have some nurses, and then in my code, I mainly focused on the roles that the user's in. If they're a doctor, I'll show certain page elements that are specific to doctors. If they're a nurse, I'll do something different. And I can use URL authorization in a similar way. I can set up, uh, you know, I can grant access based on roles, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. The beauty of this is that you, know, you can set up a few roles, kind of classify your users into some different roles. Set up, when you're testing, you, know, you can set up some test accounts and stick them in these various roles and test out your system and make sure it works okay. Now, if you're using Windows authentication, when you call is enroll, what you're going to be checking against, you're going to be looking at a Windows principle, an instance of Windows principle, and the role that you have to specify is going to be a group name because uh, in Windows, I mean, we already have groups that are set up according to your Windows account. And so you can literally check Windows groups. So you could check for administrators, you could check for guests, you could check for you know, any custom group that you've created. Uh, you, will need to, you should supply the fully qualified group name, which would be the machine name followed by the uh, you know, a backslash followed by the group name. Uh, or for a domain group, it would be the domain name backslash uh, group name. Uh, now, that's easy to set up. There's nothing to do. What I'm going to show you how to do is how to use these uh, custom roles that you can create yourself. And we'll do forms authentication and set up our own roles. That'll be a little more interesting. So let's go do that demo.